Good morning, Saugus. I'm Danny Diaz, and today is Friday, March 2nd. And I'm Jack Anschultz, and this is SNN. Today is also National Dr. Seuss and Read Across America Day. Order the cat in the hat order at the restaurant. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Seniors, if you have an interest in being a vocalist or speaker at graduation, applications are now available on the Saugus website. All applications must be turned in by 1 p.m. next Friday in the AP office. Also, see Mr. Siegel for more information on the art contest for the cover of the graduation booklet. Santa Cruz administrators are offering a $500 scholarship. Applicants who have attended school in the Santa Cruz Valley for at least seven years, have a 2.5 GPA or higher, have applied to college or a trade school, are eligible. An essay about an administrator who has impacted you, a letter of recommendation, and the application must be submitted online by April 12th. And now, let's go to Chloe Nail of your sports news. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Chloe Nail with your sports news. Today, Frosh Baseball plays Moore Park. They play at Moore Park at 3. Track and Field competes in the Don Green Invitational at Moore Park today and tomorrow. Boys Volleyball plays Camarillo today. They play at 2 at Camarillo. The Intramural 3 on 3 Big Baller Basketball Tournament will continue today in the gym at lunch. All the teams that signed up should go in the gym. If you are still interested in playing, show up in the gym with two of your friends. Great prizes will be awarded to the winning team such as lunch and a pair of big baller shoes. That's all for me. Tide Pods have become a new trend on social media. Here's Ben Cruz with more info, including the dangers behind the fad. Good morning, Sargis. I'm Ben Cruz reporting for SNN. In 2012, Procter & Gamble released Tide Pods. Expecting small children to mistake these colorful detergent packets for candy, Procter & Gamble made special childproof packaging to keep curious hands out. But the corporation did not expect perfectly healthy teenagers to be intentionally poisoning themselves for merely likes and subscribers. At first, eating Tide Pods was only an innocent meme on the internet, but then what became known as the Tide Pod Challenge grew in popularity on social media. Teenagers from ages 13 to 19 would videotape themselves biting into Tide Pods to earn followers on their social media accounts. Yeah, so I think with the accessibility with something like cell phones, right, where we have 24 access to the latest stuff that's going on, um, now uh, videos can go viral in a very short period of time. And unfortunately, sometimes not the negative side effects. You don't see the person going to the hospital, right, um, for the severe burns, but you do see it as kind of like a fad. People making pizzas. Uh, with Tide Pods, it's, it's kind of crazy. We should all know that eating poisonous chemicals is stupid and dangerous. But what really happens when you eat one of these Tide Pods? When you consume a Tide Pod, okay, that active chemicals can lead to severe burns of your esophagus and your respiratory system. Your throat could begin to swelling, okay, um, vomiting active chemicals um, that are designed to remove everything from stains, right, and clean laundry. You put that in your mouth, right, where you've got sensitive membranes all along here in your mouth and in your esophagus, right? It's going to do severe damage uh, to that. It's not good. Whether you want to impress your friends on social media or you're just hungry, eating Tide Pods is not the brightest idea. Eating detergent is dangerous and can kill you, so find something else to eat. This has been Ben Cruz reporting for SNN. Thanks, Ben. Remember, Tide Pods are not food and can cause serious illness and injuries, including death. In other news, the High Desert Branch of the American Public Works Association will award scholarships to seniors who intend to pursue a career in civil engineering or a related field. To apply for one of 10 $1,500 scholarships, visit the scholarship tab on the, so on the school website for more details. The application deadline is next Friday. Graduation announcements will be given out on March 20th on the outdoor stage with Jostens. The improv team will be performing next Friday in the NPR. 
Tickets are $5 at the door, and it starts at 7 p.m. This week, a new administrator joined Saugus High School. Here's Jack Anschultz with more. Saugus, I'm Jack Anschultz reporting for SNN. A new assistant principal has joined Saugus High School staff. Here's more. Hi, my name is Jenny Peterson Henry, and I'm an assistant principal here at Saugus High School. Originally, in the district, I started teaching at Golden Valley High School about 10 years ago. Then I worked at the district office as a teacher on special assignment, and today's my first day. I've been teaching for over 22 years, and I taught English at two different high school campuses. I'm over professional development, the English department, PE, and theater arts. I'm really happy to be here. I've already gotten to meet some of you. I can't wait to meet the rest of you. My office is always open. Please come by and say hello. Welcome Mrs. Peterson Henry to Saugus. Reporting for SMN, I'm Jack Angels. Welcome to Saugus, Mrs. Peterson Henry. If you see her around campus, make sure to say hi and make her feel welcome. The Not One More Teen Suicide Club is once again offering the 1,000th man scholarship of $500. You must be a senior with a 2.0 GPA or above. See Mr. Stradling in B207 or Mrs. Gasparo in the counseling office for the requirements and the essay prompt. That's all for today. I'm Danny Diaz, stay tuned for SNN Radio and Saugus Today. If you're going in the gym to escape the rains today at brunch or lunch, be sure to pick up after yourself and keep the gym clean. And I'm Jack Angels. Have a great day and a great weekend. See you on Monday.